Okay, we're back. <laughs> Good deal. Um, that went horribly. <laughs> I didn't even have a weapon. I had the underpants on me. I, it was pretty much a disaster. I pretty much went to jail, I think. I don't know, I tried not to read anything. Because I didn't want to, like, um, I didn't want to, you know, read and spoil the ending, so. So anyways, I'm going to change my plan of attack and kind of use the same idea from before. I'm going to use the glass shard and the love letters. So I'm going to take the, there we go. So now I have a murder weapon. And then I'm going to get the, um, poetry. Or should I get the underpants? Mm. Um, I guess we could try both. Well, I mean, with the interview that long, maybe we won't try both. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, what was I going to get? Oh, yeah, yes. Love letters. Let's do the love letters. I feel like that's more incriminating than panties. Okay. Okay, so I got the glass. Oh. Dinner. We're going to just skip this because I already read it. <clears throat> I'm not going to get involved this time. We're going to just... Um... I don't know what to say. Oh man, I... I turn... I turned on... My friend George. Blah, 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 blah. I'll say the flirting thing. Oh, man. Blah, 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 blah. Happy birthday. No happy birthdays. I take them back because you're the worst dad ever. Okay, this time I will properly plant it in the maid's room, not George's room. Because that was a... <laughs> that whole first attempt was just a disaster. But I think in a way that's almost good, because it proves that I would never be good at, like, murdering somebody, you know. Which is never a bad thing. Okay. So we're going to plant the poem... Okay. Yes. Okay. Hopefully this works. Though I'm going to have to read that whole interview of like 40. It took like 10 minutes to get through clicking everything. Okay, everybody, guys. Are we ready? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab our weapon. Broken glass. Man, you need to like, you need to like really practice wearing gloves. Let's come to our old room. Oh man, you get like triple the time if you don't use your bare hands. <laughs> Handy! Okay, now we're gonna actually um, read it this time. <laughs> okay, not this first part because we already read this. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. My turn for the interview. Okay. 
Okay, nothing in my person. I wasn't stupid enough to have my sister's underwear on my body. Like last time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. As you know, I've already spoken to everyone else who was present in that. He's a very serious man. He's got a very serious voice. At the time of your sister's death. We have also now completed our initial search of the house, but we'll get to that later. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? First of all, we will run through all of your activities since your arrival. They said that you arrived after 7 o'clock and she greeted you at the door. She told me that you refused to give her your code and she found that quite peculiar. This is a very draughty- oops, that's the other guy. Last time I visited a, co a severe cold and I didn't want a, that to happen again. Uh oh. Oh. Oh man. Oh man, I'm a snooty friend. I expect high standards of the servants in this house and she was failing to meet them. Of course I lost my temper. I see. Do you often lose your temper? That is a leading question. Yes, yes it was. Let's move on, shall we? The maid says that you made a rather inappropriate remark of a sexual nature towards her. This leads me to question your character, I'm afraid. Complete rubbish. She's lying. I would never do such a thing. I see. Later you went to speak to the maid again, which is curious. Why did you decide to visit the kitchen? I was hungry. I don't even know. I can't even do this guy. I, for some reason, can do like a fake Irish accent for everybody else. But for some reason, for my own character, I'll try again. I was hungry, and I wanted to know when dinner would be served. Oh, there. That's a little better. That makes sense. She said that she spoke about- Man, everything I've done is incriminating me. But your sister and her deteriorating mental smate. Uh, that's cause the maid was worried about my sister's well-being. Oh, he did get that impression. We're framing her! Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> later on- Oops, later on you had a conversation with your mother Gloria in the parlor. She told me that you were unusually cordial. Something about wanting to apologize and make amends. I wasn't being entirely honest with her. I just wanted to avoid an awkward evening. I see. That is understandable. She says you spoke briefly about your sister. Apparently you seem quite concerned about her well-being. Really, I was more concerned about my mother. She seemed tired and desperate. I'm sure that dealing with my sister for so many years had taken its toll on her. Your mother was behaving unusually then? She was not herself. I'm just framing everybody. <laughs> you went to see your father in the library. I understand your conversation became quite heated. My father has a very short fuse. Many of our conversations go that way. Would you say he has a violent temper? To say the least, people. I mean, anybody who's known the guy for like five seconds would know that he has a violent temper. Absolutely. I see. That's good to know. You discussed the prospect of your moving back to Dunshill. You refused to do so under 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 these circumstances. I understand. Of course, my father fails to accept the fact that I have my own life now. I can't just move back here. Of course not. That's completely understandable. Let's discuss your conversation with the butler. I understand you spoke about the new maid, Sophia. The butler seems to have some concerns about her. He told me that the new maid is very domineering and was looking to force him out of his job. I believe cold and heartless were the words he used. I see. Interesting. Did you speak to your sister before dinner? Yes. Yes, I went to her room to see her. What did you discuss? It was as brief as most conversations I've had with my sister. She called me a rat and not wanting to be insulted further. I soon left the room. Did that make you angry? To be honest, I was a little bit used to it from her. Hmm. Let's move on to the events that took place during dinner. This is very long. There was some trouble involving the butler, I gather. Apparently you were offended by his behavior. I don't know how my family puts up with it. Servants should learn to keep their mouths shut and do as they're told. That seems rather unfeeling. 
I will not apologize for having high expectations. At one point, oops, you made the accusation that the maid and your sister were in some sort of inappropriate relationship. It seemed obvious enough to me the way those two were carrying on. My parents were just oblivious to it. You believe your sister was in a lesbian relationship with the maid? Almost certainly. Interesting. Now I need to ascertain your location at the time of your sister's death. Where were we in the maid's scream? Upstairs. The landing. I was on the upstairs landing. I see, thank you. <laughs> we found a poem written by your sister which appears to clearly express romantic feelings toward the maid. I planted that. Shh, don't tell anyone. Given that we found it in the maid's room, we can be sure that she had read it. Perhaps it is proof that the two of them were involved in a secret relationship that would make her a suspect. I will certainly have more questions for her at least. I'm curious about the murder weapon. The broken glass seems to have come from one of your sister's mirrors. We found the rest of it in the maid's room. We have established that you have been to the servants' quarters this evening. However, we can't rule out suicide, especially given your sister's mental condition and her obsession with mirrors. Oh, good choice of murder weapon! Then, huh? I will be completely honest now with you now, Mr. Bruce. Frankly... Oh no! Your behavior leading up to your sister's death concerns me a great deal. Okay, doesn't suspect her father. Oh, but he feels quite certain that the maid isn't telling him something. Yes. Okay, not the mother. No suicide. Oh no. No, I got arrested. But there's also the maid arrested, so there's hope, guys. You had succeeded in your plan to draw attention towards Sophia the maid, which had led to her arrest. However, you had also... Oh, no! 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 Oh, 